Most of the time we're used to our maybe double A batteries looking like this. We've got a positive end and a negative end. Sometimes we have these batteries here where we've got the positive and negative both at the same end. But there's also this other type of cell where what we have is a positive side over here and a negative side over here. So this is just another kind of cell. It's called a button cell. And what I have here is an electrical component. It's an LED. And if I connect it up, you can actually see there's two legs. One is slightly longer than the other. Now, if I put the short end on the positive and the long end on the negative side and I hold it together, nothing happens. Does that mean the component's not working? Well, not quite, because if I was to just turn the component through 180 degrees and then connect it up, we would see that this is glowing. And that means that this component here, the light emitting diode, it only works when it's connected up a certain way in the circuit. Effectively, in one direction, it allows the current to flow, and we can tell that in this case because there's light being given off, but if we were to connect it up the other way around in the circuit, then nothing happens. And this is what happens with all diodes. A diode is basically a one-way valve, and it only lets the current flow one way around a circuit. Now, in a similar way to the way that uh, we mounted a filament lamp or resistor in this type of circuit before, we can also do the same with a diode. And again, a diode behaves, behaves very similarly in the way to an LED. It's just with an LED, we can instantly tell if there's current flowing or not. Now, there's only one other thing here that I need to point out, and that's you have another resistor in this circuit. Um, what we find is that if you have um, a component like this, because often when it lets the current flow through, it has a very low resistance, that means we can get big currents flowing. Now, if you connect up this circuit, so here we've got that same LED that we had before, this time just with a different cell, if I connect it the wrong way in that circuit, oh, you can see it's kind of smoking, oh, it's getting quite warm, and actually it really, really smells. It's very easy to actually um, break these components, because when you have a certain current going through it, but it's still bubbling there, I'm just going to put that down. Um, when you've got a certain uh, kind of current flowing through it, if it's too big, it just melts the component. So that's why it's important to have a resistor in the circuit that limits the flow of current, and that means you don't what, do what I did just there, where it started burning and breaking. So um, again, what we're going to have on the graph here, we're going to have the current measured in amps and the potential difference measured in volts. Now, one way when it's connected, it lets current flow. And actually what we get is a graph that looks a little bit like this. And it goes steeply up. In actual fact, sometimes um, it lets a really big current flow for a very low potential difference. And effectively here, the value of the resistance is incredibly small. So I'm just going to put a little R there. Now if you were to have the cell connected the other way, just like we saw earlier when this was working with that other button cell, it doesn't let any current flow at all. So that means there's always going to be a value of zero current when you've got a negative value of potential difference. And this is the shape of the um, curve, the IV curve for a diode. So this component, uh, it's got a very high value of resistance in one direction, so no current flows. But when you've got a positive value of uh, potential difference, it means that it's got a very, very low resistance. It's effectively this one-way valve, a really useful electrical component because it allows us to control which way the current is flowing in real-life circuits.